In our house, Christmas dinner isn't complete without a good stuffing. I use my mother's recipe. It is a well-seasoned sausage meat, essential to use fresh herbs. Fry an onion till soft and mix with 700 grams of pork sausage meat, 150 grams of fresh white breadcrumbs, the rind and juice of a lemon, and chopped sage and parsley. Christmas dinner is the favourite meal of the year and we have all sorts of games, old-fashioned but yes, great fun. I'm always in the winning team, of course. Nothing like your hands to get in there, so work that together. No, I haven't forgotten to put the egg in. It doesn't have any egg. Because it's got sausage meat, the sausage meat helps it to cling together. So that looks pretty well mixed to me. This is the best way to divide it into 16 portions. They brown very easily, rather quicker than sausages do. You can easily prepare these beforehand and leave them in the fridge to reheat on Christmas Day. These just need to go in the oven for 25 or 30 minutes until they're done. I don't think that the Christmas dinner is complete without cranberry sauce. And mine is fresh cranberry sauce. No cooking. Roughly chop an orange and put in a blender with 225 grams of raw cranberries. They're not about all year round, but they're very plentiful in December. To sweeten, add 150 grams of sugar and a teaspoonful of mixed spice. In that goes. Next, fresh nutmeg. A nutmeg like that will keep for five years. If it's ground, it will only keep for a year. So, a good grating of that going in. I can remember coming back from Malaysia, uh, having picked these, bringing it back and thinking the children would be interested. They weren't in the slightest bit interested. And they said, what else have you brought, Mum? Process until the juices flow and it becomes a beautiful sauce. That looks perfect. So that's it. Nothing could be simpler and it is so fresh and delicious. This cranberry sauce will keep for a week in the fridge and it's just the thing for Boxing Day sandwiches. <laughs>